What is up YouTube? So today we got a video where Ryder kind of speaks on Swarm and kind of gives you little clues about what the future is looking like for Swarm and what Riot is maybe thinking. He gives us plenty of clues, but he can't really say anything because you can see here, it says don't ask me to leak things. So we can kind of guess what he's alluding to. Let's check it out. One, so I don't get the damage nerf. And then at level two, I swap back, right? Like. There's just a, there's a lot of like really weird outcomes of a balanced strategy like that that are very unnatural and probably just wouldn't work out too well. <sighs> Swarm is mega fun. The upgrades are very satisfying. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. I'm really happy with how it's been playing. Okay, so Riot's happy. Death marks here, uh, Pitch and Zed buffs. Um... I think Swarm should not be in the League client. So I'm going to be honest. I don't get the hate for like other games in the League client. I, I sometimes see like, why is TFT here? They should just do their own thing. Why is Swarm here? They should do, do, do its own thing. It's so, like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think mm -hmm. it's unreasonable for a game to have like multiple different ways to play it and engage with its characters in the same spot. As long as it's still like playable for the thing you like, right? Like it's one thing if like we added Swarm to the League client, then it becomes impossible to play Summoner's Rift because you have to go to like five different menus to find it, yeah. right? But, it, mm -hmm. but as long as it's not like imposing on things, I think it's like totally reasonable to have those things in the same spot. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, like, yeah. I think that's cool to be like, I don't know. I'm one of those people who was like, as an example, I like stuff like Steam or the Blizzard client as examples, right? Like I like going in to those spaces and being like, here's all the things I can do. True. Um, I think it like just generally Who would complain is, about that? Cool. Now, of course, you have to consider UI design, space, clutter, stuff like that. It's not just something you can do for free where you just put all the games in the same spot. But I think generally like having the games in a more localized place that people can like swap between and you know, have shared friends lists and stuff like that is generally a good thing. Okay. Oh, they should have made it instead of Legends from Terra, should have just done Swarm. Swarm is the best thing in a long time. Swarm is great. I hope you've managed to keep it forever. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying Swarm. Thanks everybody for saying it. Um, the team has really just put a lot of work into it over the last eight months. Eight months? Whatnot, Make so a game like this? It's just okay. super cool seeing everybody having a great time with it. Um, one thing that's really cool about Swarm right now is, so usually, when you make a, what we saw with the games like Odyssey and Star Guardian, actually, oh, here we go. I'll show you the graph. Um, let's see, TFT player graph, I think it's here. Uh, yeah, some of you have probably seen this before. Um, I'll show I it I have, you. and it was interesting to me. This is a graph that we released, I'm gonna make sure you can see it, and I'm not blocking it with anything. Okay, wow. Uh, cool. This is a graph that we released uh, when TFT came out to kind of help people understand, like, why we didn't keep things like Nexus Blitz. Look at this. AR Earth was insane. There's no Earth. This is just AR Earth. So it's just like high peak and everyone would get bored of it. It looks like. I don't know why it scribbles up and down. Maybe it's like, oh, because they're sleeping. I think I think this is uh, sleeping is what I think. It would be like sleep hours, right? You have ARAM, just consistent, and then you have Star Guardian, just plummeted. Odyssey looks like it's like down, then up, then it's like, oh, it's go, it goes bad. Nexus Blitz looks horrible. Blood Moon was horrible, yeah. And also, like, why, why we kept TFT. things like TFT, right? So, like, and it kind of shows that one of the hard parts about game modes is... Game modes tend to only be played for a very short amount of time and then they kind of fall off, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not like, oh, that means we should never make game modes. No, that's that's not the case at all. Like, um, But it does mean that like you know things are going to have a fall off. And one of the reasons we shipped TFT and then decided to make it permanent, as you'll notice, this blue line with TFT, it's like, oh, actually people just keep playing this forever. Uh, whereas even Earth falls off over time. Here's oh, why, why does it go very like steady. this? And then if you zoom in over here, you have stuff like Nexus Blitz that fell off over time. Star Guardian, which basically was really, really popular for about two days and then fell off a cliff. Um, and then we have a Odyssey over here, which, uh, you know, was popular, you know, fell off, had a new spike the second weekend it was out and then fell off again. Which again, doesn't mean these things are bad in any way. It just means one of the nature of many game modes we make is we, they don't last very long in terms okay. of like, player yeah, engagement like just... 
very comparable which to... Which could be fine. Like, it's really fun to, like, play a game for a weekend or two, have Star an incredible Guardian time and with it, make really, really fond memories, and then, you know, move on. Like, Star Guardian is an example. I loved Star Guardian. I, I personally comparable. actually liked it even more than Odyssey. I know Odyssey was technically better in terms of polish and stuff to do, mm -hmm. but I don't know. The theme on Star Guardian and the characters Odyssey's you play, kinda like I really, really love Star Guardian. But sense. I only played it for a day. Like, straight up. I played Star Guardian for one day, had the best time ever, and then never touched it again because, you know, you played it for a day and you were done. This is the case here. One of the cool things we're seeing with Storm so far, which isn't going to be true over the long term. It's like, just no way. It's PvE. But um, Swarm, uh, over the first four days it's been out, has been stead in, uh, has been like, actually hasn't been dropping off in players. Uh, whereas you would expect that each day it would go lower and lower as mm -hmm. people like play through it and they're done. Now there's a few reasons that might be true. Okay. One of the reasons is it might just have more time in it, meaning mm -hmm. that like the players are going to drop off later because they're still all playing the, the content. Uh, one of the reasons might be is that even though some players are dropping off, a lot of people are like realizing what it is and like coming in. Like as an example, anecdotally, I've had a lot of friends who haven't played League for five years <laughs> be like, hey dude, I just downloaded the game again and I'm playing Swarm, right? So it could be that like as people play it, they're dropping off, but more and more people are coming in to try it out mm -hmm. as they hear about it. Um, and it could be that people um, are just having a good time and playing it longer than we expected. But okay. it's just kind of a cool note that... Um, at least for the very first like four days of the release. So you'll notice Star Guardian went day one, day two, yeah, day okay. three, by day four it was kind of gone. Swarm right now is, um, it's holding steady. Interesting. At the very least means there's like a decent amount of content there and people are enjoying it. So it's really cool to see. Um, and yeah. Interesting. So if that keeps up, right? I might Odyssey be a like, lot. Odyssey like was it. fun too. I thought there was a lot of really cool stuff in Odyssey. I just, it has to I see mean, a line I'm, keep going upward steady. I'm a sucker like for Star Guardian themes. That's one of my favorite themes, honestly. So, yeah. Did you work on Aurora? Uh, so, the behind the anima I, power upgrade isn't 100 levels too much power. It's just to no. make sure. Uh, so there's a few things with the anima power upgrade. One of the reasons is it is there to make sure you eventually finish the game. Swarm, to some degree, is a game about progression. And so... We're okay saying that if you just grind the game, you're gonna get you're eventually gonna be able to beat it. A note about anima power though that's important is anima power doesn't give you defense. And so yeah. regardless mm. of how much anima power you get, you're still gonna have problems with extreme mode getting one shot. And you're gonna have to figure out how to solve that. Uh, the second thing is we just wanted a long-term grind in the game. Uh, one of the things that's fun about a game like Swarm is playing it, getting gold, and continuing. And so we wanted something that like the people who really, really got into the game could just invest in. And then also we think it's like totally fine that eventually you just kind of like transcend the limits and become broken, right? Like that's okay. We're not, we don't have a problem with that in terms of how the game plays out. Now that said, if Swarm was a longer term game, mm, okay. that like let's say we did another patch and we added more content, oh, oh, we okay. probably have to nerf anima power mm. because anima power is right now is balanced around like you're done, the game is over. But if we ever added more content to Swarm or change it in some way, Anima Power would need to be nerfed to mm -hmm. make room for like whatever longer tail we added. So mainly it's like it's a four fun stat that will give you like consistent progression as you bump up to the edge of the game, and we think that's a good thing. And the current version of Swarm is designed to be like beatable and like finished. Okay. And so we're okay with you getting to like ridiculous levels by the They end should of make experience. it not beatable. <laughs> We could play it forever. What the hell is Anima Power? Anima Power is this song here. This is Anima Power. Do, do, do. Anima Power. Oh, so this is what this I'm too could be you. spending All 3,000 you gold on. Anime power. Oh, I just got that. Do, 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 anima power. Okay. I'm oh. Glad. I'm glad we all know what anima power is now. Oh, so that's what I'm buying. Okay. Q-W-E-R. Will Jinx get a legendary skin? Jinx deserves all the legendary skins. 
that said, uh, I think it's really important to note that if you come to the stream, uh, do not ask me to leak things. So if Riot, please. If they made a Tom Add Kench. Add Tom Kench to Swarm. Okay, let's design, let's design a Tom Kench kit for Swarm, okay? So if Tom Kench is on Swarm, Swarm you need a passive, mm -hmm. uh, a weapon, an evolve, a, a E, an active, and an ultimate. That's that's what we need here. Okay. So Ooh, what are okay. we gonna do for Tom? Kind of interesting to look at. His weapon is definitely going to be tongue lash. Tongue. Um. An AOE tongue. Let's see. Uh, I guess it could hit, pierce. Uh, we're gonna have to bring this out. There we go. Let's see. Tongue lash. Um. Hit enemies. Um. And eat enemies that it kills. Cool. Killing them. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, his passive. Uh, his passive will be um, gray health. Uh, if you if you don't take damage, you regen um, damage you took. That seems pretty good. Um, active, active. What should he do with an active? Actually, screw that. No, no. That's the active. Okay. Activate to get the shield. It's just his E. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good spell for Tom Kench, though. So basically, his active is actually a passive active. He gets great health, and if you don't take damage, you regen it, but you can activate it for the shield. If you right? eat like, we could just monsters. do that on Tom Kench on this on this okay. I think that'd be sweet. Uh so something we do with passives in Swarm is we want passives to be kind of like interesting with the stat system mm -hmm. and inform builds and like what your character wants. So a passive on Tom Kench point size. could be uh, defensive stats. Give hit point. Increase TK's size. No, no, that's oh. Leona. That's Leona. Leona gets size. I was going to say TK's size, but that's, that, that's incorrect. So um, increase TK's damage oh, and make him uh, his model bigger maybe okay maybe something like that and so you basically the more defense you get the thicker you get and maybe a sunfire and it, and it makes you deal more damage but you don't get area size that's leona thing leona gets area size okay uh, evolve for tongue lash we can call this um i don't know how's about um giga tongue <laughs> giga tongue uh, Gigatongue, um, every lash eats an enemy. Eats even an... if they aren't killed. Okay. So actually, like, every lash... This is a pretty easy to design. A kills swarm champ. ...and eats an enemy. There we go. That's, that's pretty good, right? Um, and, um, his next lash will shoot, um, will spit out the enemy... For AOE damage. Okay, there we go. That's that's a banger. That's a banger for sure. <laughs> this is for Summer's um, Rift? No. Okay. This is for Swarm. If, what else? We got the ultimate. The ultimate's the last one. Eerie Craft. Anybody got any fun. ideas? I'm a little torn on this one. This is, I think. Oh, you know what? We Tom could Kent just do uh, the down. old ult, right? So this could be. Um, so jump to location, deal huge damage, and knock back. Allies can jump through with you? Okay. Something like that? This is how a designer thinks? Yeah, it seems pretty simple to design a champ. Uh, well, transport it to swarm. That is not a good... That is not the word I'm looking for. Location. There we go. Yeah. yeah it's basically arena raid boss. Seems like this kid is fun. Please code and add him by next patch. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll get Tom Kench into swarm. It'll be super fun and balanced like all the other characters. <laughs> Sounds Please fun, buff actually. Please Tom. Yeah, for I guess... 100 bits. Okay. Cracker, I thank you. All right. So from what I got from his stream, I did try and check through all of it, but I think he stopped talking about Swarm once he switched to the Briar Splash Art. But basically, it seems like Riot is very interested in these curves in these in this graph. Game hours promote at launch, right? So they don't really want it to see like a, a Star Garden or Odyssey, which is what they expected would happen. They want something like a TFT or an ARAM. Um, 
I mean, even AR Earth, but I'm not too sure. But it seems like um, it's. They said he said it was holding out, and that people were playing longer, and that it could have been people hearing about him playing on PBE server, or people are just enjoying it more, or people are just playing it longer, or something like that, or aren't done yet, or something like that. Um, and the curve is looking very holding steady, but honestly, like, I feel like once you're done, you got Swarm Conqueror, what, what else is there to do, right? I feel like this will do something like Odyssey or Star Guarding where it falls off a cliff and doesn't, and everyone after like a month or so would kind of quit. But honestly, we've seen like those bullet hell survivor games like Vampire Survivor, Survivor IO kind of pop off and be successful. So maybe they might look into it. Also... Uh, he said they were pretty happy. I mean, he said he was pretty happy with how everyone is taking Swarm. Um, and like old people are like coming back to install the client. So there's, it feels like there's high hopes, but you know, right, right. It'll take a few months to probably prep something more polished. This is probably like kind of like a beta. And I want to get my hopes too high, but I can see the numbers like something more like ARAM or maybe if they release a polished version it'd be like super OP but there's many ways to make endless modes in this game and also you could just like modify what you have right now and just add like challenges or like get a new title get new icons and then they can put some paywall or they I don't know maybe buy weapons or something I don't know something you know, they want to make money off it, but I don't, they'll, they'll figure it out. But anyways, I think we'll maybe, he said, remember this, he said there might be a future iteration where it comes back. You know, never, you never know. They took him like a long time for Odyssey to, well, actually it was very shortly after Stargate was released, they made Odyssey, but after Odyssey was this game mode. And that was like, maybe like four or five years. It's been a long time since I've, remember Odyssey? But uh, yeah, that is what we got for the future of Swarm. For, for the future of Swarm. That's all I heard so far. Maybe there's more in this one, but I didn't check. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.